This is Logic Pro for iPad 2, and this is Chroma Glow, a brand new distortion, saturation, and outboard gear emulation plugin for Logic Pro. In this video, I'm going to tell you all about it. Let's go! Hi, my name is Pete and welcome into Logic Pro for iPad 2. Let's dive in. Now, before we get started and I tell you all the features of this cool plugin, a quick word of warning, it is recommended that you have an Apple Silicon based iPad that's at least an M1 or the new M2 or M4, iPad Pro or iPad Air. If you wanna use Chroma Glow, you can use it, but if you're using multiple instances of it, you may get some slowdown if you're using earlier iPads. So a quick explanation of Chroma Glow. Yes, it's a one dial plugin. You've got a drive knob here that you turn up and down. And the idea here is that you're using some emulation of outboard analog gear to really give your songs a bit of punch and a bit of kick. You can see over here, we've got retro, modern tube, magnetic squeeze, and analog preamp. We can dialing clean or colorful sounds. We've got a heap of options that we can play with to get just the right sounds. And we're gonna demo this on a bunch of different instruments. I'm ready, are you ready? Let's dive in. To add Chroma Glow, it's just like any other plugin here in Logic Pro for iPad. So we're going to go into our plugins view here. I'm on this track, our vocal track, and over here we can tap on audio FX. Now I've used it recently, so it's right there in recent, but if we come down and we go into distortion, there it is, Chroma glow we can select that one and there it is ready to use if we scroll across to get it into a full view we just double tap and we get all of the options here ready to go let's give you a tour of the interface and explain all of these options and then we're going to demo it with some vocals some drums and the whole mix because yes we can place this on our master bus as well in the top left we can choose the model that we're emulating whether it's a retro tube vintage tube magnetic squeeze or an analog press Amp. Next, we can decide whether we want it to be clean or colorful. Colorful just means that it's going to actually add some additional harmonics and a little bit of color to the sound. Or we can have that clean preamp sound that's just going to give it a boost without actually adapting the audio too much. In the top right is our bypass. So by default, it's turned off. If we turn it on, we can actually bypass audio that's below a particular frequency. You'll hear this when we do the demo, but you can dial that up up or down to bypass any audio below that frequency. You've also got level controls here. So you've got your level in if you want to give it a little less or a little more audio going into the effect. You've got your level out where you can do the same thing by dialing less or more and your mix. So you don't have to have 100% of this plugin applied. You can actually mix it down and just put a little bit of chroma glow onto a track. In the middle is your drive knob. So you can turn that up everywhere from zero to 100% and you'll hear what that does in just a moment. And at the bottom of the interface, we have a low cut and a high cut filter. This will filter out any sounds at frequencies below or above a particular level. With both of these, we have a shape option that we can select here. We've got the frequency, so we can say everything below say 320 hertz and a resonance dial here as well. We can also do this either pre or post the effect being applied. So that means that the filtering will happen before the effect or the effect happens and then the filtering happens after the effect has been applied. And your high cut, exactly the same options as your low cut, but it's all the frequencies above that frequency that will actually be filtered out. And one final thing before we dive into actually hearing some demos of this, we have some presets. So we can tap here, we've got the default preset there. This is cool because we can actually dial in presets and you've got ones for bass, you've got vocals, you've got keys. We're gonna try out some of these because that's a great way to learn what all the different options actually do. So we have Chroma Glow added to this vocal track and I've dialed in the bright preset by tapping on the preset button there, going to vocal and tapping on bright. And you'll see that the preset has added in some options already. It's chosen magnetic as the model, it's gone with a colorful style and it's even bypassing some frequencies here. We can adjust the drive though. So let's start with it at 0%. That means you're not gonna hear any of it. I'm gonna play the vocal and let's dial it up. People will say Lots of things, but they just don't know why. 
So you can hear it's definitely brightening up that vocal and just rubbing it in the dirt a little bit. Let's try another preset with the drive at 100%. Here we're going to tap on the preset there. Why don't we go with a clear preset? Why do you care what they think of your choices in life? So it's definitely adding some distortion, a little bit of warmth and a little analog goodness there. Let's bring this back down to zero by dragging the drive down and we'll play this vocal again and drive it up with this second preset. People will say lots of things but they just don't know why. All right, let's go with something else because you've got some extreme presets in here. Let's go with the telephone like. This one's going to be interesting. Let's hit play. So we've gone the retro tube here, the colorful, and you can see here it's added in some filters. So it's filtered out the low and the high frequencies. And that's why I say start with your presets because that's going to help you learn what all of these options actually do. Let's now move over to drums. And for this particular track of mine, we've got a heap of drums here. We've got a whole summing stack of drums. You can see we've got all the kicks and snares and toms and cymbals and everything in here. We can either add it to an individual track, but for this demo, I'm going to add it to the overall track. This time let's add via the mixer method. So we're going to open the mixer here and go to this drum bus that we have here. What we need to do is tap here to add an audio FX and there you go. It's already there in recent but remember we can go distortion and chroma glow and this is going to add it here glow to our track. Now make sure that we're in mix mode over here as opposed to setup mode and double tap and there it is again. We can drop down the mixer so we get full access to this plugin. Let's check out some of these drum presets. So with nothing applied here's what our drums sound like. Pretty cool. Let's add a preset here. We're going to go over to the left side here now because you can also access your presets by tapping over here. We're going to go back from vocal and this time we're going into drums. What do we want for this sort of drum? Let's go with some dirt drums and see what it's done here. It's added squeeze. This time the style has soft press and hard press because it varies depending on what you choose as the model and it's added over the top here some bypass. So let's dial this down to zero and and bring it on up and see what this preset does. Now, why does it sound like that? Yes, it's added a low cut and a high cut filter. So if we turn those off by tapping here and tapping here, we can hear what just the actual distortion effect is going to do. That's pretty good. Again, we can change everything. So we can change the model. Say we don't want the squeeze. Let's try the analog preamp. And now let's make this a clean analog preamp sound. We can play the drums again. A little bit less of an extreme effect using that one, yeah? Cool. Let's now change this up again. We're going to change this from an analog preamp to the modern tube. And you're going to get a different sound again. You get more of that more of that distortion kind of sound coming through there. So there's a heap of things that you can do in here. And again, playing with your presets and playing with the options we have over here will really help you learn what works and what's going to be right for your track. Now, like any effect, once you start dialing it in, it may change the volume. So you may need to adjust the level in or the level out. Let's play these drums with the rest of our track and see if we need to adjust this level out. Yeah, so we need a little bit more level because it's kind of squashed some of the frequencies there. You can also use the mix knob here. Don't forget that if you don't want it to mix it all the way in, you can mix it in a little bit less. Let's uh, play with this by hitting play and dialing the mix down. Now, 
Now, as I mentioned up front, we can use this on our overall mix as well. So if we go back to our mixer and we scroll all the way to the right, we can add it to our stereo out track. Now we do have the mastering assistant, which I've covered in detail. You can check out the video about that one down in the description. But if you want to add chroma glow to your final master or your stereo out track, it can be a kind of cool thing. Let's check it out. To add the plugin, we're going to hit the plus button here to be in setup mode. Now we're going to tap here with the plus button again and go to chroma glow. It's there in our recents. Let's grab it. We'll go back to our mix mode and we'll find glow in here and double tap it. Let's pop the mixer down there and we can now start dialing in chroma glow on our master track. And you guessed it, we've got presets for our master bus as well. Let's tap on default preset here. Come on down to master bus. Look at all of these we can play with. Let's try mix magic and see what this does to our mix without doing anything else. <laughs> And as you would have heard there, too much of a good thing is too much, especially when you're dealing with a plugin based around saturation and distortion. So sometimes you want to make sure you're not driving it too hard and you might even want to reduce the overall mix to make sure you're getting a balanced sound. There you have it, the Chroma Glow plugin. Have I delved into every detail of it? No, I've only been using it for a couple of days, but it's very cool. It's got lots of potential, and as a one dial plugin, I think it's going to help a lot of folks just get that analog warmth back into their digital recordings. If you'd like to learn more about Logic Pro for iPad 2 and all the new features, check out the other videos in the description.